I don't think you're stupid. I'm just trying. I, listen, I deal Jesus. with I deal with Rich and John. What? <laughs> okay, I don't chew or eat or crinkle into the. Okay, you once, crinkle. Once I crinkle. I crinkle. You are I, a fucking crinkle. I crinkle because it's funny. You're a crinkin cr- criminal. Crinkle. Crink criminal. I'm gonna let that one go. Crinkle. Crink criminal. It doesn't crinkle. It he he tries. He tries. <laughs> Stop flapping on my <laughs> side. It's not, it's not boy flap. Rich crinkle. Red. Welcome to Boyd fl- Flip. Can I have it? <laughs> Where we all That's flip off. Thing. We flip off a bridge because why are we doing this? Balls. balls. Are you recording? Yeah. Oh, oh cool. <laughs> um, balls. What? Thanks. Grape balls. Honestly, like we're journeying further and further away from balls. This is the second boy flop in a row that it's been down the middle gender wise. Ha ha. Even now. I think we made a mistake. Are you sure about this one over here? No, I, I've <laughs> never I'm been sure. I'm a boy. Yeah, I pointed at Adriana. <laughs> Nobody's really. The peanut gallery speaks. I feel like <laughs> the fucking corner of <laughs> mini wheat. Is, <laughs> is that the mini wheat? Corner? That is the mini wheat corner. It's not even a table. It's just like a eight, eight bits over there eating cereal in the corner. It's like one, it's like one a.m. All of our lives are out of control. Uh, they, they've always been out of control. On a bookshelf. Yeah. I f- I feel like when we came up with boy flop and I guess decided it was a good idea, we didn't think that like <laughs> we decided have, wrong. We would ever have the other gender <laughs> because we're YouTube and video games. I don't know. YouTube's but awful. Boy YouTube's and girl flop. Boy and girl flop. Yeah. I'm okay with that. Boy and girl flop. Fuck it. Um, okay. Hi. The boil flop. What? Boil, boil flop. Boil flop. Gross. <laughs> Let's flop the boil, see if it pops. You want to take a gamble, uh, kiddo? Uh, boils? Take a gamble, kiddo? Boils yes. are the worst. What? I've never had one. Was there's... You're a boil. Thank you. <laughs> Jesus. Wasn't there an Invader Zim episode where he named the, his giant fucking zit off of his face? Did you ever see that? What? Fuck. Invader Zim. So there's I a, ate too many grapes and now I feel sick. You had like three. <laughs> She's the size of a grape, so she just That's had true. three times You're her weight. You're cannibalizing your own people. Uh, but when it comes to pizza, <laughs> yes, she can eat okay, as much. Oh, no, I was thinking eat. of the Ed, Ed, and Eddie oh. episode where he has the huge zit. Like Eddie oh, yeah. does, oh, yeah. and he like tries to cover it with makeup, and he has just like this extra huge head. Yeah. There, there was a really similar Invader Zim episode. I don't recall oh. that one. Okay, so so Zim gets like this giant. I, I don't know if it's a boil or a zit or whatever, but apparently it hypnotizes people because mm-hmm. Jonan Vasquez. Um, <laughs> but so he drew a face on the zit that's coming like right off the side of his face and I think he named it Pestulio. That's weird because they do that not the naming but they do that in Ed, Ed and Eddie too. There's a point where like Ed just draws a face on it because he doesn't know how to fix it. <laughs> how did that shit like get well I guess it didn't because both shows got cancelled right? Uh, yeah, actually Zim, for a Zim, long got, time. Zim yeah. I think got cancelled but Ed, Ed and Eddie ran for six seasons. Yeah. Really? Yeah. The, yeah. the, the last two seasons really are bad time. and the movie's bad but like um, the first four seasons are fucking gold. I just remember it like disappearing. Double D's um, my man. It stopped for like a few years and then it came back. And when it came back, it was like not funny. Mm, that's too bad. Kind of like Futurama, except... Oh. Futurama mm-hmm. came back and was good in a different way, kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah I guess. I guess. I, fuck. It's, it's been shit. Okay. It's been like 10 minutes. TV I haven't even... shows. Yeah. Uh, hi, welcome to Boy Flop 26. Uh, I'm, so- I'm Jules. I'm, hi. You would say I'm Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> I'm Sonic the Hedgehog. And I'm Knuckles. I thought yeah. you were a shadow. So, I, well, I'm I, Amy. Yeah. What? Uh, no, I uh, guess. And hello. Does that we make you big the cat? <laughs> no, I'm a shoddy bee. What? No, you're wearing that hoodie. <laughs> my, my lucky hoodie. Yeah, no, that... Rachel is wearing a bootleg or shoddy bee hoodie that <laughs> yeah, she made. Yeah, it says Debbie on it. In it says hashtag, hashtag Debbie. House. I'm upset. Yeah. <laughs> I can't do anything about it. Do you want to introduce yourself? My name is Rachel, otherwise known as Thunderesk on Twitter. How do you want to be, how and do you want to be like named on this I don't, podcast? I guess... Go with my YouTube channel, I guess. The not Rachel Bull. Okay. Okay, that oh, works. Yeah. Heard, yeah. Hashtag Debbie. Yeah. I mean, I mean, Hashtag Debbie. I'm actually really interested about this because, like, I keep hearing, like, all these different things that you do, like, including your YouTube channel and, you know, like, knowing all the people you do. So, so if I were I to do. ask... What? <laughs> that I do. Well, wait, did I... What did I say? You're, like, knowing all the people that you do. Yeah, you know people. You you do know people. Okay. Not people that you do. People that Tell you know. Tell us about the people you don't. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. 
So, uh, so how, uh, were I to ask you what it is that you do? Words. What is that you do? Memes. Okay. Well, this is true. She's a professional memer. That's true. Yeah. Like, it's okay, you could lot. probably actually make a living if that like meme page that Garrett gave to you takes off. Yes. She has control over the meme page. Yes, now. Garrett gave me control. Damn. Of the old meme page of Rich. You, you could probably Google AdSense that and put some ads on that. Right? <gasps> You'll probably make more money than I do. Yeah, same. Yeah. Combined. <laughs> Your memes are more popular. You won't make as much money as Jonathan Young with his <laughs> his YouTube blood money, yeah, though. In case you weren't aware, those of you listening, if you ever see like an exploited picture of me like, doing <laughs> something stupid, it's probably the result of either our friend Mitchell or more likely <laughs> say. or more likely Rachel. Yeah, I feel like Mitchell is like the king of your memes, and then I'm like the queen. You you usurped him pretty quick. Like, Aww. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. He's been doing it like forever, though. He yeah. memes on everybody. Yeah. He well, he has a website with like my forehead exploded on it. Like, <laughs> no, he changed it. Did he? Yeah. What is it now? First, okay. Well, when he first changed it, it was like a tranquil beach scene, and then like a, pe- <laughs> a picture of you, that picture of you that you love so much, and then he changed it again, and now it's a GIF of row like sped up, <laughs> and it's like. Our, our, friend, uh, our friend Swiggles one ninety seven or Swiggles RP is on YouTube. Yeah, and and the me. Mitchell we're talking about is Maximum Hamburgers. Well, I am still on there. Yeah, and it that is picture a, never okay. changes. Nice. It's Mitch. just the background. And so the, the website quote. is nice Mitch, uh, where you say nice M I T dot C H. Nice okay, Mitch. So like, I, I was literally just like skyping Mitch one night, like two years ago. I was like. Wouldn't it be funny if you bought this domain and then he did? That's the story of that website. And he's an idiot because he's been like he keeps it updated. He's been maintaining it for two years. He's very he's very that responsible. That costs him money. It yeah. costs him like yeah. probably forty dollars. So it's for far. comedy. It's it's, it's a good, good investment. Mitch it's worth it. is. I can't tell if Mitch is an idiot or a genius. I think he's both. <laughs> probably. <laughs> probably both. Anyway, continue with uh, who you are. And what okay, you do. so I I do animations kind of on YouTube. Of really dumb stuff. I did a, um, <laughs> I did a Powerpuff Girls slash Dragon Ball Z parody. Which has like two million views now. No, right? it's just under a million. Oh. I'm kind of scared. I thought though. they had like over a million. No, it's like nine hundred thousand something. That's, it's close. That's still quite a bit. Yeah. yeah. I'm good. scared because I promised that once it hit a million, I was gonna do like the actual episode, and I have like oh, no. nothing. <laughs> you did the April Fool's episode though. Yeah. How that much was like, pretty good. work goes into that? Like, like I mean, a I know. Lot. Yeah, like that took like, me. Worst. What do you think she's gonna say? Not a lot. I, yeah. I don't know. Well, I just kind of shit it out on the weekend. Really but, okay, okay. It wasn't a question about like quantifiably how much work. Just so much like I, I, I wanted it to transform into like well, approximately four more, work. more information. Yeah. yeah. Animation takes a long time because not only do you have to do the audio and all that and then sound effects which I do first and then you have to draw every frame I looked at how many frames I drew well I didn't draw every frame because I did a bunch of tweening Mm -hmm. stuff too which is like the computer does it for you Um, it was 1,997 frames in that and it's only like a minute and I think 30 seconds damn yeah Yeah, so how many it took like five months working on it like off and on what's like the frame rate like how many frames per second i think i did 24 nice that's cool Damn. yeah and what, i did it in flash you did i was gonna ask what if you did in flash yeah, yeah. i i dicked around in flash like very quickly like i think in middle school i made like little like stick figured flash animations it was the best, yeah well, i mean like back then it was like the funniest shit i don't know at least to me and my friends were like uh flashplayer.com and Newgrounds they always yeah. had those like Newgrounds and like Newgrounds is the home like yeah they always had like stick fights yeah stick fights <laughs> yeah, yeah. Exactly. Uh, they, they also had like uh, did you ever play like stick RPG no uh, I played that you played that yeah yeah it was, it was a lot of fun it was just like stick figures yeah you're a stick figure. <laughs> did, did you ever? Did did you ever play? I did not ever play stick RPG. Did you ever see any of the flash animations when those were booming on the internet? Yeah. Newgrounds. Yeah. yeah, my favorite was um, there was this little video of a cat in a box, and her <laughs> name is she, and she kind of just like. Oh, was that a, the music video? One? Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's like really sad, and it's like. I don't know. They sped up some song and like pitched it up and it's like the cat singing about how she's all alone and she's like, she wants to find love. But at the end of the video, she doesn't have love. (laughs) She's still in the box. Well, I don't know. It's kind of, it's implied. Look, no, listen, listen. Okay. So at the end, she's not in the box anymore and I never could figure out if that meant she died alone or like she... (laughs) 
is somewhere else now with our love. There was no box. Uh, bo- box <laughs> is it, the box yeah. is existing and leaving I, the I box just, is, is, yeah. is yeah. the answer. So it's just the box. So kill I yourself, yeah. I guess. Pretty much. I don't know. I don't know. It's really cute, though. I don't know. Like, I feel like I would see that, and I'd be like, oh, that's cute. There's a cat, and it's in a box, but you took it, like, all the way down no, the, like, existential, it's... like... Well, y'all, look it up. It's called She's Song. I've seen S-H-I-I, it. I think. S-H-I-I, apostrophe S, song. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I've seen it. It's, it's pretty good. The song's pretty good. It's cute. I have not. It's cute. Go look it up after oh, boys flop. Way too much work. <laughs> well, there's like there was like Newgrounds and like that that is kind of reminiscent of like albino black sheep and stuff and like Holy some of those shit, was, like e bombs world and shit. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Those are the days. Those those were not the days. <laughs> those were pretty bad. Yeah. Those, those were oh yeah, and um, oh, badger, badger, badger. Oh, badger, badger, badger of course. Yeah. Weevil. Yeah. What? Pete Weevil. It's the animator of that, and he like still does crazy cartoons. Still does? Yeah, they're they're all just like weird little like loops that have goofy songs alongside them, and they're all just really strange. And they're all you really... should do that, Rachel. That should be in yeah. goofy things. Do it. Of these just, guys. like you should just do like thirty second <laughs> dumb animations <laughs> with like. I but see, know. even thirty seconds still yeah. takes forever. It's it the would worst. only take two and a half months. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So there's like no yeah. way that you can like. I don't know, like automate the work or hire like, a production team. Yeah, pretty much. Really? Multiply myself into like twenty other people and like, work around the clock. So, so there's no like programs that like I don't know, you draw one thing and then it like it, it can't like smart figure out like I mean tweening does help. I just personally I only like to do it for like shortcut kind of things where right. it's not as noticeable. There are people on like even YouTube and stuff, uh, who do mostly tweening and they'll make like because you can, I don't know how to explain this without it getting technical, but like you can make one picture and then attach it and make kind of a skeleton almost mm-hmm. and just move like the limbs. Interesting. Kind of like so, a puppet almost. Yeah, pretty much. And do the tweening that way. And that way you don't have to draw every single frame. It's just like move this frame, move that frame. Interesting. So, so it almost like tells the program like this, this like group of I don't know, right. art has to move with this skeleton piece yeah, yeah. or something. That's interesting. I don't know, like, it's it's tough because, like, I've always lived vicariously through, like, artists and stuff because, like, the second I put a pencil to paper, it's just, it's a train wreck. So, like... <laughs> Is when that I, true? When, it, it's pretty true. Remember, you know, we kind of collabed on the whole, like, Thunder Force thing. I guess. Yeah, so that's the... different. Like, you know, I can, I can hit, like, buttons and put effects on shit that already exists. But, like, yeah. when it comes to actually making something original, like, art-wise, like, it's, it's always awful. So, like, whenever, like, I see, like literally anything that's like even good i'm like always blown away which sucks because like uh i remember there was this one time i was hanging out with oni and g at too many games and like somebody came up and like you know they're like oh my god oni and g like i love your work can you like look at like she drew like this amazing picture of like quilag or Aww. something from Dark Souls. And I was just like, holy shit. Like, that, <laughs> like, it was like, there's like fire everywhere. And it was like super, like, contract. And Chris, of course, was just like, you know, it's pretty good. <laughs> 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 like, I don't know. Like, I don't know. Yeah. I just, I, I feel like I just don't know much about it. Like, I don't know much about art. And I feel like a lot of the time, like, I feel like not, not understanding an art form or anything. Like, I don't know what I'm trying to say here. Like, you're like more easily impressed by stuff that's not necessarily like the best in the world or something. I guess. Or almost like when it comes to music, like you're more easily unimpressed too. Like in the in regards to like I mean, I'm trying to find a different example because we've used this example before with your boy. Take a drink. Um yeah. Uh fuck, fuck. You do have fireball. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm trying to think of like 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 a genre of metal or music that like is not immediately like attachable, like or like a like band. Like immediately accessible. But yeah. Well, yeah. Anything that's kind of like avant garde or like yeah. progressive or something. It's not just like if you're if you're coming from a world just like oh I listen to the radio because that's all I have. Right. And then suddenly you hang out with like that fucking asshole dork kid with the glasses and the weird hair that listens to strange music. <laughs> I Rachel's pointing, <laughs> yeah, Rachel's pointing at you. No, um, and they're like, dude, check out this bed called Neutral Bill Cotel. And then they hear Jeff Mangum go, ah! <laughs> and they're like, this is the best album ever recorded. Yeah. 
Or like trying to show somebody who only listens to country like Sun or something. Oh, that would be silly. It's, it's like, I think your CD skipping. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, I mean, even all the way down to like, if somebody's only ever been exposed to like Taylor Swift or Miley Cyrus or something, oh, if if you throw on a, if you throw on an album of like even like Dragon Force, which is to us like super butterly but butterly buttery easy e- yeah <laughs> it's it's easy easy digestible for us metal but like for somebody who wasn't exposed to like blaring guitars and s- a, some screaming long haired dude singing about dragons like <laughs> it's probably like to them almost just like that's not music that's screaming well i'm not gonna use the phrase but i'm essentially doing what john normally does right. with the thing but like <laughs> it, it kind of works that way with just like normal art too because like if you show just like some joe schmo like jackson pollock or something mm-hmm. it's gonna be like it looks like he puked on the canvas <laughs> yeah. this is an art this is a mess and they're gonna go well it's so, or like anything that's like pertaining to like something that's abstract yeah. modern art. or like it's just like you just don't understand it like <laughs> I don't know. I think that's. I think that's like kind of applicable to anything. But I feel like most people can look at someone who's a competent artist, look at something they've drawn, mm-hmm. and be like, "Yeah, they seem to know what they're doing." Right. It's just it takes someone who's a little more experienced in the trade to come along and be like, "Oh, well, this thing's kind of weird." Here. Right. Like I was gonna say, like I had a buddy who uh, interned at Blizzard, mm-hmm. and he's now working for IMDb and Amazon. That's cool. Mm-hmm. He's actually like moving out to the West Coast right now. Um, yeah. and he worked at Blizzard, and he actually did like a little bit of like character design for mm-hmm. like World of Warcraft and stuff. Nice. And like. It's it's so insanely intense and like incredibly detail oriented how every single character like in anything Blizzard is, and like they were looking at like submissions of like people who are like applying for jobs and stuff, and they're like like I actually saw some of these submissions and they're just like oh, I was like oh you know these look pretty good and they're just like no no all wrong this yeah. is garbage this is it's trash hilarious. this is awful the proportions are bad the background is garbage yeah. it's like. Okay. Yeah. Jesus. And then you want to cry yourself to sleep. So right. welcome like, to my world. <laughs> my buddy who like he was actually doing like like a lot of back end stuff and they just like kinda like gave him the opportunity to do like character design and like it was this one character, it was like for Miss of Pandaria or whatever. Mm-hmm. And like he worked on this one piece of concept art for like four weeks straight and he was so stressed about it because he's like, It has to be perfect. Yeah. And that's just like the type of person who are like they'll come along and be like, Oh well, some of the finer details are weird. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's that's the worst. Yeah, that's intense. I mean, Blizzard's pretty nuts. Yeah, well, I'm sure. I'm sure. Well, any, yeah, any like AAA company is gonna yeah. be like, yeah. like uh, movies. Perfect. Yeah, like like E three is happening right now, and they have all these like really <laughs> cringy pre- presentations and stuff. And it's like I I can only imagine how much work they try to put into these, right. only to have them like crash and burn. So no, like, ha, so ha, 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 ha. Yeah, that's really sad though. There's like um, what was it? I think it was. I got really sad about like Metroid Prime Federation Force last year because Soccer. I, okay, no, listen. So I I just get really sad thinking about the fact that like there is a team behind that and probably, <laughs> like, Don't cry, Audrey. excited that I don't know. We're yeah. probably like excited to show like they were excited they got to work on something like I don't know. We're like Federation Farce. <laughs> it's so nice. Well, one, time, all, yeah. one time I went and toured the Rhythm and Hues studio mm-hmm. in Hollywood and uh, cause like I guess one of my alumni worked there so like he gave me a tour and the offices quote unquote um, there were just a bunch of people in like the hallway in like a dark room and they were all <laughs> sitting at their computer just working and they were working on like Alvin and the Chipmunks at the time Aww. and so I'm walking through the halls Aww. like oh my god, if I had to do this every day, I think I would shoot myself. Yeah. Oh my and he was like, the whole time he's like walking around, he's like, oh, we're going to move soon, so don't, like, this is just temporary. And I'm thinking, no, it's uh, not. Yeah. <laughs> it was awful. That's, I, I feel like, um, I don't know, it, it's, it's always really intimidating working on something that's like, not just like a big deal, quote unquote, but something that's like super beloved or has like a lot of money like riding on it. Like, I mean, uh, like I, I'm pretty sure everyone at this table has worked on something that's like, you know, had we had told ourselves when we were really young that you would work on something that big with that context or something, you'd just be like, holy shit, like I'm going to absolutely shit myself the entire time working <laughs> on that. Like I, I was actually immediately reminded, uh, Adrian, of you you doing, um, you did the, the Kauai thing oh, yeah, for, for, um, for Smite. For Smite. It mm-hmm. was, um, yeah, it was like a skin that they did. Yeah. Um, for one of the characters, and it was like, 
a parody of like K-pop and J-pop. So I had to like come up with dumb Japanese lyrics or whatever. And in, in the end, it was like put in one of the menus and she's like dancing with like these like bara tigers behind her and it's like rainbows it's pretty silly too yeah. like if you look it up <laughs> really like dumb. it's like the normal like character select or something like i don't really yeah, know so but she's like and then yeah. all of a sudden like this thing strikes the character and it explodes and suddenly it's just yeah like... so she's like she's like the cat <laughs> goddess or whatever of, <laughs> of smite and so she, i think normally she's like all like slinky and like whatever Egyptian and then like when when you do that skin she turns into just like a rainbow barfed on her or whatever and she's like wearing cat ears and she's doing like the pom 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 dance and it's like so it's perfect what I'm saying is it was the perfect job for me (laughs) right but but even still like I always found that you know in situations like that I don't know like I always I always wondered what I would be like working on a big project like that, like like how much how experienced I would be, and like mm-hmm. like what what kinds of like I don't know like maturation things I would have to go through to be able to like be the man for that kind of job, and then you get that job and you're like, I'm not the I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, like, the wrong person. You're just like out of anxiety, cramming Doritos into your yeah. mouth like by the handful. You're just like, this fucking, I'm not gonna do it. Yeah. Throw myself off a cliff. Yeah, yeah. pretty much. I'm, I'm sitting there on Skype with Danny Baranowski with a fucking tub of Ben and Jerry. It's like, Danny, I can't do it. <laughs> Shit. Yeah. I don't know, like, you've worked on some really, really cool stuff, Rachel. Yeah. Like, um, you, you did some stuff for Game Grumps, I think, no, right? Well, Or you did some design of. stuff, yeah. Well, okay, so there was this one episode um, where I think it was... Oh, I think it was a John episode, so, like, mm-hmm. way back in the day. And uh, Aaron made a joke about pizza. Yeah. <laughs> and it I was... Remember, I remember this. Yeah. <laughs> um, I have the shirt. You do? Well, you have a shirt. Yeah. Um, and he made a joke about, I don't remember the story now, but it was just like, pizza, a pizza shit. And I was like, sitting there one day, and I was just like, this needs to be a thing. <laughs> and so I drew it, but I drew it like super kawaii and like adorable. Yeah. And I mean, at the time I was just like, whatever, like maybe other people will find it, who knows. And then someone bought it and I was like super stoked. Cause you don't know, you don't know like who it is, but like you see like, oh, you sold a shirt and I'm right. like, cool. It was like my very first shirt that I where, sold. Where do you, where do you sell these things through? Uh, Red Bubble. Red Bubble, cool. And, uh, <laughs> cause it's just because they had a little bit more freedom yeah. at the time. Right. And they still do. They have a lot of products now. But, um, so I went, I don't know. I was watching one of, uh, Susie, Aaron's wife's videos. Cause she does like, uh, I think it was Loot Crate or something, mm-hmm. an unboxing thing. And... I opened the video and I'm sitting there eating dinner <laughs> and Aaron's wearing the shirt and I'm like, and I like drop the fork and I'm like, oh my fucking God. That's rad. <laughs> so he That's was like so the first cool. person to buy the shirt. And so like after that, all the comments are like, where did you get that shirt? And then, and like, it's on Reddit, like where the fuck did Aaron get that shirt? And someone like posted the link and I'm like, oh. They have like a pillow too. Don't they? Yeah. Well for, so later, um, Aaron's birthday, like the year year and a half later I sent Aaron a pillow of it mm-hmm. I'm like here you can have this in the office because they moved to like an office and um it's like whenever they did like streaming back in the day they would have it like on the couch and I'd be like oh yeah. that's so cool but that's then I made so- one for Rich <laughs> special I, I wore it in a video wait it's special yeah why it was, they're only one really yeah I'm not selling it yeah. oh okay Maybe. sorry <laughs> no no it's i wore it in a video yeah. you you also are uh, acquainted with crush 40 right yes yeah. yeah yeah that was the thing where like if i can go back in time and tell 12 year old me yeah that i would be working with june snow and doing like cover art because cover art is my favorite thing yeah i love that so much and i never thought i'd ever be able to do that and then to have june ask me to do it and like take photos and. Mm-hmm. Like, so for the uninitiated, you want to explain who Crush Forty and Junior? Sorry, <laughs> the people if you're who not suck, a Sonic yeah. fan, get yeah. out of here. <laughs> yeah. People um, who are bad or didn't own a Sega console like me. Yeah. Um, so, I guess starting with Sonic Three, pretty much through the Dreamcast era, uh, June Snowy did like all the music for that. So, um, Avent- Sonic Adventure, Sonic Adventure Two, Sonic Heroes. He did all that, and then he's done other stuff too, like um, one of the Daytona games. <laughs> Daytona. <Awesome. laughs> Daytona! He did one of that, and uh, yeah, just other stuff for Sega. So yeah, he's Sega's 
music guy. I'm a bit I'm a bit jaded by Sega driving games now that I have to do <laughs> Game Over Yeah from Sega Rally of for the Game Over theme. <laughs> yeah. The uh, I, what was that yet? Yesterday? What's today? Yeah, it was yesterday. Yeah, yeah. yesterday I, I was probably annoyingly screaming the game over yeah thing from my room because I'm doing the... I just decided, fuck it, I'm going to try to do the vocals for that. And it turned out well. Yeah, it, it turned out better than I expected. Like, I figured that, like, like I, I never sing. Like, I don't know. I feel like I always say that, like, I'm a terrible singer and blah, 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 blah. And I'm, I, I mean, like, I sang a shit ton in high school. I just, like, I feel like since I do metal... Like, metal singing is, like, completely different from, like, you know, obviously, like, choral singing or, like, I was, I went to, did I ever tell you I went to, um, a barbershop quartet camp? Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't think that rings a bell. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I went to, I went to, like, this summer thing where, like, they teach you how to sing in a barbershop quartet style. I'm just trying to imagine, like, this emo kid in, like, a barbershop quartet. At that like point, I'm imagining, yeah. like, Bioshock, like, infinite style. Really. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, at that point, I had, like, my long, straight hair and, like, you know, Something chains better. and, I don't know, I, I, I wore... <laughs> please, <pants>. yeah. <laughs> Fingerless gloves. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> please. Hell yeah, dude. No, um, had chains, the, the, what were those pants called that you got at Hot Topic? Zippy 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 That's exactly what was on Oh yeah yeah. Yeah. You could like open it up at the knee Right And then But they also had like All the chains that had like No purpose (laughs) whatsoever What the fuck Trip Trip pants You were close with Zip They were called Furry pants Furry pants Furry pants That's what the Fursonas wear Really emo fursonas. Okay, I guess yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you an expert now in furries? Yeah, okay. I'm a furry. I'm a furry. <laughs> Adriana saw Zootopia and she's obsessed with furries now. Yeah, no, I it, like that, appropriating furry culture. Now that you <laughs> mention it, yeah, the only people I see wear trip pants are furries. Um, yeah, right. Dude, it's right? them and uh, everyone on DeviantArt. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, well, that's yeah, the same crowd. Like, yeah, but like, uh, what is it? Fucking. Um, Underground industrial German like hardcore dance scene. Like the people oh, who do like yeah. the shuffle shit, like the Melbourne Shuffle, they all wear those huge pants and they look yeah. stupid as fuck when they move around. But it's really cool. If you want if you want like three minutes of entertainment, look up uh, go to YouTube and look up the Melbourne Shuffle. It's really cool. Am I also in? you can find it by typing in zippy zip pants, according to Rich. Zippy zip pants. That's not what I said. <laughs> am, am I cul- they have zippers and shit. Am zippy I culturally stupid or is that is that like v- the techno Viking? Did you ever see that? Uh that's kind of sorta of related, but not really, no. Okay. These are like people who look like really scrawny versions of you. <laughs> oh, good. Yeah. And like they're super pale. And they say, do and they, they listen to like that type of music that's just boom, 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 like that. They wear the pants and then they do this crazy fucking move. They do this crazy dance, just I think it's called the Melbourne Shuffle, where they like it looks like they're just kind of sliding around, but when they're really good at it, it looks like they're levitating, and it's really crazy. Weird. Not like levitating with, like, with their legs up, but they do, like, it looks like they're doing, like, a really crazy moonwalk, mm-hmm. and, like, there's a very specific way to do it, and it's just really intriguing to watch these crazy dudes that look like they fell out of 2002 MTV try to do this dance. I'm really impressed at your knowledge of European <laughs> dancing. Yeah, it's yeah. It's just this one. It's just Because, this. like, I, I have this buddy ex- Alex back in, back in college who was just, like, he was just like, I fucking hate dancing. Except the Melbourne Shuffle. That's so cool. And like, he showed me videos and I was like, this is so stupid, but it's really cool. <laughs> yeah, was, no, he, he was like explaining this in a very like animated way. Yeah. I know it's you can't see Look it. Look it up. It like, doesn't make sense when someone's really good at it. He's like, super passionate about it. It's like break dancing. They have we'll competitions for it, it yeah. and shit. Because really? like when you, like you think it's just like, oh, it's just like you just move your, you just fucking do your little slide thing. It's like, it's really hard. He's apparently. doing it, guys. Yeah. He's now actually I doing make the make slide Rich thing. in those pants doing that. Please stop. <laughs> Just because so I have a vague interest in something means you have to meme on me. Yes. Yeah, Rachel, I think you should start like. Um, I think you should eat your grapes. Ow! <laughs> and then ah, I didn't. So I know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think Jay you know that you, you should be. start a 365 day rich meme project. You know you what like... I really wanted to do last year, and oh. you told me no, so I didn't do it. I wanted to. <laughs> I wanted to make a calendar. <laughs> For this year. Oh my god, you should, you should. Rachel, please! Would it be like make a twenty seven like really hot babes? Yeah, <laughs> oh my god. god. You put Rich's face and be like the fireman. Just, and, oh just my god! To do all of it. I know. I well, I wanted to ask him to do it because at the time the meme page was still alive, but 
That wasn't. That's well, not. Now you can bring it back, though. I know. I wish you wouldn't, but I know. You're <laughs> Why is Betsy barking? It's like two a.m. Yeah. Oh, we have a dog next door that first we named Darren because of our friend Dark Darren A, who is Dark Darina. Actually, <laughs> actually, makes beautiful art. actually a Mexican dog who makes beautiful art, like the one that you see on this. Uh, if you're looking, watching on YouTube, it's the thing that's up on, the, and then if it's on SoundCloud, it's all the other art. It's all done by Darren. Um, the boy flop The boob one. Art, the the yeah. boob one, yes. For the longest um, time, he had a really big monopoly on doing video game cover album art. Yeah. <laughs> it it kind of started like, I don't know, like he, he showed up. He did the art for Aries of Sun. He did the art for Nostalgia yeah. like three years ago or, what, or two years ago or whatever. And then like, yeah, he like, I feel like after that, like he started getting picked up yeah, by he's like. He's done... Uh, he's done some art for me. He's done art for Ro. He's he did. He did all the art for um, Operation One Up. Yeah. All the all that stuff. But anyways, uh, so he also has this obsession with dogs. He's also a furry. Um, and <laughs> no, he's uh, actually a dog. He's sorry. my sister. Yeah. <laughs> it's messed up. Uh, and we have a dog next door. That's like this tiny little, tiny little black dog. And it's a yappy dog. He's a yappy dog. So we call him Darren. But one day we found. Uh, or the neighbors who are very kind of solitary and boisterous and, and boisterous uh, mm-hmm. came outside and started screaming at it and apparently its name it's, is Betsy we think hmm. but um, yeah so we're worried we think I like they, Darren better yeah I like Darren better <laughs> too but um, we <laughs> think Betsy? they just <laughs> no, I said Betsy oh, we think they you. just like leave that dog out like overnight and mistreat it so we don't know what to do I don't know how, how to steal it steal it yeah, yeah. John's going to complain. He's allergic to things he doesn't understand. It's not like they'll be able to hear it barking from next door. <laughs> Hunt it over the fence. We all, we all record with like microphones except you, so having a yappy dog would be not good. I do. I love Betsy. You do the Patreon video. <laughs> Did you see me? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, there was that. Did you know Betsy? You- <laughs> hey, wait, I'm going to do Did You Know Betsy. <laughs> did you know? Do did, it. Did you know that this dog lives next door to my house? Did you know Thank that? You for did watching. you know Debbie? Debbie? Did you know Debbie? Debbie? Like, yeah. we both said at the same time. Uh, you know yeah, Rachel one? did. Rachel started like a Did You Know Debbie series. Yeah, I don't think I showed you that one. Wait, no, you what? <laughs> I didn't hear about this either. No, yeah, well, she is. She it did, was like, on your graphic. chat, but yeah. I don't know if you saw it. Yeah, you're probably like too busy actually working. Yeah, you're actually doing things. <laughs> but no, she the did logo like for Did You Know Gaming. Why yeah. on the side I put oh. burgers. And Why yeah. do you hate but me? Eight bit? No, and it's really good though. She put it on like. Imager, <laughs> and then yeah. like it had like you put it in inspirational. Yeah, and, no, like, I always put everything yeah. in inspirational. So when I put something in Imager. People started commenting on it, like oh yeah, because there's like a porn. Oh yeah, what? Yeah. <laughs> what? Excuse me? <laughs> Not of you. Oh okay. But related to Debbie, so like they were all commenting on it. Because it was about <laughs> Debbie goes to like I don't know what it is. Debbie goes to, it's like Texas or something. Yeah, right? Debbie, goes, Debbie yeah. goes to Texas. And they were all That's like, I know Debbie. <laughs> That's my preferred form. <laughs> yeah, so, so like goes people to were Texas. commenting. Amateur, and then big black cock, Texas. I guess it wasn't inspirational yeah. enough. I don't know, but it was good. It was so good. Yeah. I, I half expected you actually wrote a script for a Did You Know <laughs> did you Richard. Know we should. And we should. Well, we tried. Like, oh, we started. What? Why? Did you know, did you know Rashadi B is He's, bad? Yeah, exactly. Thank you. Yeah, you all wonder why I'm so fucking cynical and just like look like I'm dead in the eyes all the time. is because I have to deal with people memeing on me. You just need to embrace the memes. You look what? like that You before. love it. Embrace your burger. Did you know Debbie what? orders 32-inch pizzas and eats them all by himself? I thought that, I thought that was going in a different direction. Oh, you whatever. had more than I did. We were talking about I porn like six, and you said 32 inch no. pizza. No. <laughs> there's, a, no. there's a really good picture that there's you should link in there of somewhere. her trying to fit that pizza through the door. It was it was. Yeah, even fit through the door. yeah we ordered one last night, I guess, because Jules was streaming. So we just wanted like an easy food. Easy, easy food. food. Yeah. <laughs> so... We ordered it Hot, from this place easy. called Bambinos or whatever. Bambinos. Boy plug. Bambinos. Boy plug. Boy plug Bambinos. Sponsored Bambinos. by. Bambinos. We know you listen <laughs> though. <laughs> Mad love. Wouldn't that be great as a Mad sponsor love. though? Yeah. <laughs> Let's get sponsored by Bambino. Dude, yeah, and it's down. like, it's just, it's Their pizza's good bigger as fuck if you're in San Diego, I, I guess. Know. Yeah. There are some I pretty good pictures of Rich just like looking at the pizza, just like looking dead. My favorite? I looking my at fav- the pizza. No, no, no. I was just trying to like fall asleep, I think. <laughs> Did you see the one Ace did? Yes. <laughs> I love that one. People make my life difficult. No, Funny. but my favorite picture is no. the one where like, 
your like your face is like half like smashed into the face. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I know that one's funny. Yeah. The, You're like, uh. Speaking of rich memes, I I posted one of. Have you seen the one that's upstairs? Oh, in the bathroom. In the bathroom. Uh, yeah, Mitch's favorite. Uh, Mitch's masterpiece. That's yeah, I, I think that's Mitch's best best yeah. work. I, I like for the longest time I couldn't look at that without <laughs> laughing what? because like not because the picture itself. I mean, the picture itself is funny. What it is, is it's a picture of me, a really exploitable picture of me, where I'm just, like, leaning with my arms crossed. Against, He's a like, cool a guy. Well, it's also, like, like right cheesy. across from the toilet. Yeah, so whenever you take a dump, you're just looking at this crazy picture that Mitch made. No, 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 no. I didn't notice it the first time I went in there. Yeah. Well, I kind of did, because he, like, pointed it out. But then I forgot, and then I was, like, washing my hands, and it was in the day, and I look over my shoulder, and I just see that <laughs> creepy face over my shoulder. I'm oh, like, I'm sorry. <laughs> No, what it is is our friend Mitch Maximum Hamburgers took like a, for some reason he was compelled to take a picture of this is one of many things he's done uh, take a picture of me and like it's an actually kind of a nice picture of me yeah. like apparently it's the but, only like, good picture he has what you're mean to me no, I'm he, just like, being real he mean he took this picture and like you can do something in Photoshop called uh, content scale aware uh, whale so, like, scare yeah that's a different thing uh, so like he just like took various parts of me in the picture and like scaled it up and then scaled it down and Photoshop uses an algorithm to fill in the blanks. <laughs> so like the backgrounds of her back in and my like face was filled in where it like got fucked up and all compressed. So it looks like this real I look like Louis C. Mitch, C. can you post this I when this like, comes out? I look like Louis C.K. in this On picture Twitter. kind of. Like I'm just I just have like like a misshapen arm going into my gut and like a huge head and stuff. And there's like this weird gap like somewhere, like under your arm or something. It's yeah, really funny. it's it's and, like, whenever I see this picture, like, I laugh really hard because I just have this story in my head of, like, like, I just picture, like, Mitch is just, like, home from work. He, like, <laughs> he, like, he, like, he, like, skipped work and his boss is, like, what were you doing yesterday? And he just, like, put, he just, like, looks at his Facebook and sees that and he's, like, is this what you did when you took a sick day? And he's, like, yeah. <laughs> just, like, this is what you do in your Mitch free so time? Bad. It's just this picture. <laughs> Which is the best? We um so back in December, I think for Christmas, uh both both John and Rich left for uh family Christmas or whatever, and I stayed home. I stayed here, uh because I had just gone for Thanksgiving, um, and while they were gone, I first <laughs> I, I decided that I wanted to like surprise them with a lot of just like random shit. One of which being uh, <laughs> fra- framing Darren's uh, El Dorado. Person, you guys. Yeah, it's it's actually it hangs up right above where we do boy flop. Right yeah. now, their faces are covered though. They were covered by, by not the boobs. We didn't censor the boobs. Just the faces. Why <laughs> birthday? I also I also <laughs> put up, I also Double put up D's. a bunch of embarrassing Double pictures D's. of all of us, including me. I put there's there's the. The and really... I'm in all of them for some reason, except <laughs> yours. What? What? Oh, Can now I, you are. Are you in John? Well, are you well, applying your the bucket in John? Fe- that one fell. John's bucket head fucking picture fell off the wall. But yeah, I guess you are in every single one of them. What does that tell us about? <laughs> I was say that one what what does no, that tell us too, about right? the boy flop guys that Rich is the most embarrassing one? I don't know what That's I did. That's not nice. Rich. Um. Those aren't embarrassing. Those are kind of nice. So then, so then, you know, these are all in the kitchen. You know, obviously they they were gonna see it, but I decided to put up one, uh, one secret image, which is the 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 it's one not that very secret, the one that they were talking about, and I did it like uh, right in Rich's bathroom, <laughs> right, so that when he it's right like, over the, like the hook for like the towel too, right. So <laughs> or I, under. <laughs> So like I'll go into the bathroom for a moment of reflection, and, just sit in the toilet. and you get a good moment of reflection. No, I look at, the, I Literally. see the picture, and then I get upset. I mean, how can you not reflect on your life when you the, stare into those I'm beautiful mad. eyes? The be- I'm upset. The best part was like you would just come home from your holiday. You you're like, like, I hit an extra. Yeah, you. And then you're walking around, and it took you a while to find it. So like I remember, like I, was I was looking in my room. Mm-hmm. I was sitting in my studio, I was working on something, and Rich just comes downstairs with his, like, head in his hands, just, like, kind of laughing, and he's just, like, he looks at me, and he just goes, Jules, I'm actually kind of mad. I'm, like, <laughs> I'm actually a little upset right now, not because, like, not because of the picture so much as you used, like, 50 command strips, so I can't take it down. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I like that your, your your solution too was to put a towel over it. Yeah. So now it's just like extra creepy because you like creepy. Yeah. <laughs> like now when there's a towel so there, it's like, like curious. Like, what's this? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, I just imagine like you get out of the shower every day and you grab your towel and you're like. <laughs> I, I just I pick the other towel. I would. <laughs> I'm very, I'm very proud of myself. In case you, you were wondering, I'm proud of there's you nothing too. enviable about my life. There's <laughs> it's a mess. <laughs> It's 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 always fun. Thanks thanks especially to you, Rachel. Yeah. Always like Thank you. you uh, uh you did for his uh for your birthday, I think, right? The uh the, oh, yeah, yeah. Guitar World. I just get no, little surprises world. in Facebook Messenger, like <laughs> probably once a week, like look what I made and like God, it's a message from Rachel. <laughs> Let's see. Don't know. Oh look, she photoshopped my face onto the, all the characters of the cover of Final Fantasy VIII and renamed it Final Fantasy VIII a burger. Yeah, that was that was born from a boy flop meme or something. Yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah, that was yeah. Years, yeah. I didn't yeah. expect anything to come. Ye from vintage it. boy flop memes. Oh, yep, yep. you guys have vintage memes. Me too. Already. already. Do you remember the very first one, Rich? What? Do you remember the very first one? Do you remember the no. very first meme? <laughs> <laughs> it was actually a boy flop one. Was it? Yeah. What did you do? <laughs> okay, so you know, you guys know the video that I think it was John's video when you guys moved in, mm-hmm. and uh, oh maybe yeah, where the you fall out of the closet. That, that was mine. Okay, that was, that was yours. Yeah. Okay, so what? Oh, I'm passing her a meme. Okay. <laughs> anyway, um, memes are being so I passed. That, I cut Rich out because he's like face down on the floor, right? Yeah. And then I don't know. We were talking about Top Gun. You haven't watched oh, yeah, it still. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. I told him about um, playing with the boys. Yep. And like made him watch that video, and he's just like, why? <laughs> and then um, I was like, oh, boy flop. Boys. Hmm. Mm. So I put, I think I put Jules on Maverick. Mm-hmm. And then I put John as on, Goose. On Goose, yeah. And then I just had Rich <laughs> in the back row, face in the back. down in the sand. You are not nice to me. What, what was the... I, I laughed think, the entire time I was making it. Yeah. I'm like, this is perfect. Wasn't that you that did the picture of like me with Jules's hair? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That was Family my favorite Rich because it. it breaks Darren. Like, yeah. When he comes up, he just says, delete this and like spells everything wrong. And then he just says he needs to go lie down. Oh my God. This <laughs> is, is that perfect. Good? Isn't that good? Yes. Stop. 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 Magfest. Yeah, uh, I, I have like this picture of Rich. I was kind of drunk there. Yeah, let me see. Let me see. I have this picture Don't of lie. Rich from Magfest, where he just like has his hands thrown up in the air, and he's just like, yeah. <laughs> and like I uh, put it next to a picture of a hamster doing the exact same pose from <laughs> Danganronpa Two. So it's just like him next to this cartoon hamster, but they literally look like the same. You can't they tell the, the difference. Same. You can't tell the difference. Yeah. I remember that picture being taken because, like, we were sitting next to each other. Yeah. My life is like, torment. You were, yeah. Rich, you were, you were like. He you're pre- I think he was like ironically, belligi- belligerently drunk. Belligi- belligi- yeah, I think he was drunk. like quote unquote ironically what, throwing his hands up, being like, "Yeah, we're drunk. Yeah, He's drunk. I'm That's, drunk." We or had whatever. just got the Magfest and fucking. I think it was J Mac. Actually, he was like, "Yo, check out this whiskey or something." Oh. Right? No, it was Sebastian's room. Was yeah, it was. Oh, yeah, Sebastian's that was the problem. Sh- boy plug to Sebastian Wolf <laughs> for having like, alcohol. Take a shot, and I was like, okay. Yeah, that was the beginning of the end. <laughs> no, and I remember you were you were like specifically trying to get a Mimi picture of Rich. I was, and yeah. I think I think you it's had not that hard. No, there's nothing better than like being. <laughs> you just being have to like point so a camera at him. Being <laughs> well, like, sober around <laughs> drunk Rich is just like a really good experience. Well, like you like you like pointed the camera up, and I remember going over to camera and like hitting the hitting <laughs> yeah. the picture button to take, and it took that. <laughs> Be nice to me. Is this what happens when you don't do professional photos? I didn't and do look anything. Nice? Rich, what did you think was going to come out of a boy flop episode with me and Rachel? <laughs> I knew like... this was coming. It's just I'm telling you to be nice to me. No. I'm going to pop a balloon. No, no, no please was... don't. No. I don't know. I, I find, like... I'll suplex you. <laughs> I, I personally enjoy watching you go, go through this because uh, it's funny we talked about Darren earlier because, like... For the longest time, like after and a little bit before I did that first album, like I was the one who was always memed on. Like every day I would find another image that Darren. your fucking scapegoat. No, it's not a scapegoat. It's just nice to. Brothers in arms. I'm enjoying not being memed on for once and you being the prime meme target. I'm the fucking messiah of memes. (laughs) Disclaimer I am not the first one to meme on him. His friends were doing it long before me. Well, not in the same manner. They weren't making I mean, I'm better, but I'm just saying. Mitch Mitch and Ro were probably the first to start making stupid ass shops and photo minutes of memes. 
Ryan's I'm, I'm really in, good at making memes too. Yeah, Ryan does them sometimes. Shout out to Ryan in the room. He's, he's Boy plug there. to Ryan <laughs> Lafford. Spoiler alert. He's over there somewhere. I don't know. I I, I feel like you kind of you kind of played along for a long time though. Like you were like like I I, I immediately always think of <laughs> the. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm reaching out to Ryan from across the room, and and Ryan's caressing a monkey. <laughs> yeah. um, I I don't know. I just like I'm always brought back to your April Fool's video where you like where you like minimize the <laughs> notepad, oh, yeah. the stretched out picture, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. I just had like I had like this this close up of uh, our friend Rose's face, just like as my desktop, yeah, with like. 40 duplicates of that image like just on the desktop that just said like row one row two row three <laughs> there was one of them that said jay parecki 95 and then there was a folder of just uh, like 100 copies of the picture that just said pictures of row <laughs> see it, the the memes the memes circulated i feel like it just got to a point where like it all collapsed were, in yeah, on me you were you were just overwhelmed and it's just like i'm like, a fucking vortex you just like I was just assaulted with a grape. <laughs> Don't throw grapes at him. Don't assault me. There will be no assault on boy flop. There yeah, are. Wait, never mind. This is a, this I didn't... Is a wrinkly grape. I know, that's why I threw it at him. You are not <laughs> nice. It's not nice. I see it. You've. you've... It's touched him, so. Oh. I've, oh. I brought, like, we brought you on, on two, <laughs> two boy flops. As a, <laughs> <laughs> you are mean. Stop throwing food at each other. It's her. Food <laughs> flop. Food flop. Yeah. Yep. It's over there on the floor. I see it. It's like a better version of Food Fight, the movie. It's food flop. I'll get it later. Yeah. Uh, no, I'll get it now. We're gonna forget about it, and then someone's gonna step on get it. Get the grape. It'll probably be you. Get the meme grape. <laughs> Anyways. I'll have a visual for the grape as well. The what? We'll have a visual for the grape as well. You should take a picture yeah, of the grape and, okay. and tweet it out right now so that people... Yeah, draw a smiley face on it. This won't probably come <laughs> out for a while, but like, you can tweet it out yes. now and yeah. then... You should... Okay. One thing that I was thinking was that you guys should start doing like... I don't know, like posting sort of visuals along with... Pe- people want like video podcast? video podcast yeah, like, like, kind of like referencing like if you reference something kind of having like not have know. just the beach scene right like yeah, bring it yeah. up or whatever yeah, yeah just like maybe bring it up <laughs> true true oh well, i mean not even you don't even have to like edit it in just kind of like maybe with the twitter post mm-hmm. like have just like a thumbnail yeah just like kind of have links or something. Yeah, you could do like a photo along with the link to the. Like episode that's what I was saying in the last episode. Where like um, some podcasts do a thing where they have like, <laughs> a link dump like under the the MP3 or the wave or whatever. Like where they they have everything yeah. that they mentioned during it. And like yeah. I dude, like I would love to go all out, but again, like. Well, yeah, it maybe Rich can help. What? No, maybe Rich, will Rich not. can help. I don't know. We need to hire. You don't, like, don't want to trust me. With Jules the does everything on boy flop. I, I do. I it's li- basically I, Jules flop. I, I carve. I carve. He hours. volunteered. I did. His idea. Yeah. No, I, I, I wanted to have a podcast, and we do. So I, I took the responsibility of it. But I mean, it's 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 a lot of responsibility. That's that's all I'm saying. It'd be nice to like maybe eventually get an editor or something. You Why? Know? Wait, Why? Ryan, what are you showing? Wait, are you, you peddling showing? memes? He's, Come peddle over here. He's showing a rude photo. I want to see. I want to see. Is <laughs> it a rude Come photo show the meme rich? peddler. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we, can't, we can't talk about that. Yeah, that's, that's, one of the get out of here. that's like one of the really early photos I sent you. Get out of here. Sad. That's Sad. a bad that's meme. That's an inappropriate photo. <laughs> that's an inappropriate that meme. An Go to your room. Go to your room. Go to, yeah, go, to your, go to your office. We're actually in his meeting. room. He's sleeping in the kitchen. Yeah. It, it's 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 so sad how we've all just kind of like carved out our own little offices in this house. Yeah. Like I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like immediately Ryan gets Ryan's here and tacking away over. Yeah, there. Ryan gets here and he just like carves out a little laptop corner so he can yeah, meme he and meme in silence. Uh, but. Anyways, so we were talking about the things that you do, Rachel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and the things that you do is meme. Yep. And do you have anything else? That, She's that, literally a professional meme. Yeah. It's true. Yeah. I, I mean, mean I talk- do graphics too, yeah. whatever. And so yeah, you're you're doing some graphical stuff for. Can't talk about. Well, how long, man? That'll that'll actually probably have happened by the time this comes out. 
Probably. So I guess I can probably talk about it. Okay. Uh, and if not, then I guess a few people know really. <laughs> She's actually like, uh, Rachel is designing like shirts and merch for me in Yay! celebration of like 100K. Yay! So keep an eye out. You'll be able to wear a hoodie that is. Did you already hit it? <laughs> what? Did you already hit it? Probably within a day or two. Yay! I'm at like 99,500 right now. 99,999. <laughs> That's crazy. Mm-hmm. I mean, like, you, you're the hoodie that you did was so good that like you got like. Tons and tons of there's a bunch of people being like, "Where did she get that?" Yeah, and like she just like, fucking made it. It's yeah. a bootleg. It, it looks really good. Like ass hoodie. Only is. because I asked you to make merch when you hit. Yeah, 50, I was like, 000. "I'll do it at fifty k," and then I was like, "I'll do it at eighty I'm the same way. I'm the same way. Like I wait. So how did you make that? Did you just like, is it like an iron on kind of thing? No, no like, I like made the graphic and then had. A oh, and then you had it made. Yeah, made. Yeah. I see. I see. Yeah. Sweat like sweaters and like hoodies and stuff are like the hardest thing to print on. Like a yeah, bit, like there's like a whole machinery process yeah. with it for some reason. I'm not that skilled. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's not even skill. Like, the, the actual technology for that is, is insane. Well, like, yeah, but you have to know how to work it. Right. Like, uh, we went to GDC and they had, like, they had, like, a a sweater printing thing like on the on the oh, floor. Oh yeah, they did, didn't they? Yeah, it's like it's I like nice. It's this huge thing where like you got to like, you know, coat this thing in paint and then like put it on in like a giant lever action and yeah. it's it's fucked up. It's medieval. Mm, like, but... <laughs> I like how that's your like description of it. What? <laughs> it's fucked up. It's fucked up. <laughs> like you'd think that like okay, how hard is it to fucking sharpie a, a, a design on a I fucking I should have just done that. Yeah. <laughs> you just that would have really those, funny. One of those paint if you markers, just have one that's yeah. like really bad. You just kind of like, uh, like with white. Out. I want right. credit. I want credit. That's just like a sh- the sharpie rich. Yeah, <laughs> it's like your your like smooth fucking calligraphy thing, but just it's all fucked up. And like, <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll draw right now. Hold on, let me let me. I'll d- is there a plate? Yeah, yeah. Do, do make it like a little face tattoo on this. Plate. But he, but he. This is oh, like a face tattoo. Oh, I like him. This is, there's I'm, I'm holding th- a, I do that. Yeah, I was like, no one else in this house. I don't want to ruin this. Have, yeah, well, go ahead. You could, Rachel, uh, the, the why only. Why don't you draw it on John's There's like little on John's like, like, yeah, yeah, give pictures me. So it everywhere. actually serves a purpose. Right. Oh, that's not nice. <laughs> what? Yeah, I know. <laughs> I was going to bring it up. Okay. Uh, okay, so actually. No, no, no. I don't need a reference. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, professional. Yeah. Make sure it looks like the R is pregnant. Oh my god. I still don't understand that. Okay, listen. I need to stop saying that. I picked it up from Evan. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, look at this. Look at his... What? Is this okay? Am I allowed to be on Rich's mic? Yeah, it's fine. Hello, I'm talking from Rashadi B's mic. Okay, it's just kind of like... I don't understand what this is. What, what is that? What is it's this? It's decoration. What do you mean? It looks like it's pregnant. This, this thing? Yeah, it looks like it has like a growth. No, I draw my R's like that. It's like you start here and then go around okay, for the okay, okay. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I just I don't know. I think it's cute if I you pretend it's pregnant. Oh, pregnant. <laughs> well, now I can't. Okay, you it. heard it here first. Rich is pregnant. Rich is a pregnant boy. <laughs> oh, sorry. Exclusive. Okay. Who's the mom? Put that on a shirt. Ryan. Put that on a shirt. What the it's fuck beautiful. Did you do? It's an R. I'm mail that into the voter <laughs> registry. <laughs> and. Uh, He's gonna be mad. President He's of gonna the United come States, come write in Rashad E. B. Senator, write in Rashad E. B. I'm gonna write in Frosted Mini Wheat. Committee member. He's gonna come back and see that, and he's gonna be mad. <laughs> no, he's like, oh, he can't use it. He doesn't even know. That's yeah. for the primaries, right? Well, this is just for voter registration in general. Oh. Uh, <laughs> but you well, can, can do it online. Another one of these from like the. No, he can do it online. Do it online. Yeah. yeah. Whatever. John he was going to do it online anyway. Yeah, he shouldn't be Just in Minnesota. Title this episode, John Sucks. <laughs> you probably yeah. won't even know. I don't think he even listens to Boy Flop. Probably not. It's funny. All right, fuck it. Moral of the story is... John Sucks. No, make merch when people ask. And Rich is pregnant. Yep. Rich is pregnant. I really want to make merch. I've been talking about it forever. I mean, you've been pushing me to do shirts and, and pics and stuff. Yes. And I want to, but it's just like every time I try to like just bang it out like and find somebody to fucking you know find something to put it through i have graphics i have i have like all this shit darren drew me like a fuck ton of like really really good graphics for shirts and merch and stuff like years ago what he's he's good at what he does he's darren just sucks. yeah he sucks <laughs> doesn't mean he's not good at what he does true but like I don't know like I just wait wait I'm sorry can I interrupt to say that Jared just texted me from like three <laughs> feet away to say that the R is wearing a fedora 
<laughs> oh, it's perfect. <laughs> it's a fedora. Where's the Where? fedora? It's the pregnant thing. This? It's a fedora. That, it would be up here. That looks like a he's got a He's got a sideways fedora on. <laughs> Milady, my cover. My rich. My He's tipping the fedora. My guitar. I don't even see that part. Oh my god. Yeah, I don't it's know. Because you're blind. What oh. did I do? You lost you? your eyesight. <laughs> I caught the grape you threw at me earlier. That, that, That's because you you you're good at hearing grapes. What? <laughs> well, you guys, it's two a.m. Stop. Welcome to the autism Don't make fun of me. podcast. <laughs> Don't make fun of me. Anyways, it's really hard to (laughs) fucking find, like, good deals that don't fucking scam you when it comes to, like, like, I don't know, people trying to, you know, put out their brand and stuff. Like, I've, I, like, I actually did a thing where, like, I made a spreadsheet of, like, everything from, like, Designed by Humans, uh, fucking, uh, Fan Gamer, uh, all this stuff and I just like I, I sent them an email just saying like okay what's your rate what can you do for me and I just like put it all in a thing so that I can compare it and it's all over the place like it yeah. like you know some 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 places do like I don't know we'll straight up give you this much for each shirt some places will do percentages some people will like they, they just I don't know like I wish it could just be easier I wish it could be easier to just oh, be like buy your own shirts Get I have a brand fucked up thing Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know. Like, I have a brand. I yeah. want to put it out there. I want people to buy it. Why does it have to be so hard? And why do you? Why did I don't know. It's it just like Redbubble. Like you, you go through Redbubble for everything, right? Mm-hmm. What? How's your experience with them? It's good. I mean, they have really good customer service, and yeah. they're pretty fast about everything. I've only had like one time where someone emailed me and was like, "Where is my shirt?" And I'm like, "I can't help you. You have to go to right." You have to- but um. And they've added a lot of new things, like they have graphic tees now, mm-hmm. and you can get leggings. And cool. Yeah, it's, but I mean, yeah, it's like maybe you, I should just do that. I mean, at this leggings. point, you get yeah. to you get to yeah, set yeah. the margin of what you want, so you can make it as expensive or inexpensive as right. you want. But you know, yeah, I mean, my my thing is like Redbubble always seems like kind of expensive. Yeah, like, Redbubble yeah. seems like it's gotten more expensive. The base price is expensive, and it seems like the percentage that you would get is not as good as like if you went through. Right. Through somebody you were like actually like talking who, like, to. Yeah. Right. Yeah. No, that makes sense. That's I just true. Yeah. Spreadshirt, I feel like I don't know. I don't like the quality of Spreadshirt. I, I'm not crazy about it. I feel like I've ordered I ordered a black shirt from Spreadshirt once and it was just printed weird. Yeah. Huh. So it's like I, I feel like the system that Spreadshirt has is like pretty easy to kind of right. like And they and, have a lot of integration with uh, certain partnership programs and right, stuff. Right, they do to yeah. where like if you're if you're in a partnership program where like they work with them, you can mm-hmm. get a much larger cut than you yeah. would somewhere else than like Oh my god, Jack and Anna are here! We have to end the podcast! Yeah. We have to end the podcast! Okay, we have to end the podcast, podcast is here. I guess. Okay, bye. <laughs> uh, Ryan's attacking Jack. We gotta go. Aww. All right, thank you guys so much for listening to Boy Flop Twenty Six. Next one's probably gonna have Jack on it. So, Yay! Uh, yeah, Rachel, thank you so much for hanging out. No problem. Um, yeah, I guess this is another shorter Boy Flop, but Whatever. I'm Family Jewel Seven X. <laughs> I'm gonna go say hi to Jack. All right, Me too. bye. That was Adriana. Bye. Of course he's eating.